Hello, and welcome into another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Mike Demos. In just a moment, we'll be joined by men's soccer star Emery Welshman. But first, let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. The story of the fall continues to be the women's soccer team, which won yet again on Wednesday, defeating Vermont by a 2-0 score. It was the third straight road shutout for the Saints, which improved to a perfect 6-0 on the season and continue to receive strong consideration to be nationally ranked. The Saints, which are one of just three remaining undefeated and untied teams in the country, look to keep their perfect mark intact Friday night at Holy Cross before returning home Sunday to host St. Bonaventure at 1. Volleyball Open Conference play by splitting a pair of home matches this weekend. After falling in straight sets to Canisius Saturday, the Saints rebounded by pulling off a four-cent victory over defending MAC champion Niagara yesterday. Freshman Taylor Akana had a sensational weekend, posting back-to-back double-double performances with 20-plus kills, including a career-high 26 against the Purple Eagles. Volleyball continues its five-game homestand Wednesday night at 7 in the arc against Binghamton. Field hockey, meanwhile, was shut out in two road contests last week, dropping decisions at Colgate and Hofstra. The Saints return home Wednesday for a 4 o'clock matchup with Lehigh. On the links, women's golf finished fourth overall at the Dartmouth Invitational and was tops amongst all six MAC schools, finishing 25 strokes ahead of their nearest competitor in Fairfield. Senior captain Catherine Shomo tied for third overall with rounds of 75 and 74. On the men's side, the Saints stand sixth following the first round of the Leo Keenan Invitational hosted by St. Bonaventure. Final round action tees off today. On the course, women's cross country won the NGIT meet this weekend while the men posted victories over Long Island and St. Peter's. Chrissy Del Santo held off two Hofstra runners in the final 400 meters on the women's side to help earn them the victory. Both men's and women's tennis opened the fall season with victories last week. On Sunday, the men posted a 5-2 win over Fordham behind strong top singles and doubles victories from reigning MAC Rookie of the Year Mike Amico. The women, meanwhile, earned a 6-1 triumph over Holy Cross behind Jasleen Sandu's victories at top singles and top doubles. Finally, the men's soccer team has been suffering a little bit from a bad case of deja vu as the Saints fell in overtime for the third time in their last four games by identical 2-1 to scores. This time, the defeat came Saturday night at Rhode Island. After playing Wednesday at Central Connecticut State, the Saints return home Saturday to host Temple at 1 o'clock. Here now to talk more about the Siena men's soccer program is sophomore Emery Welshman out of Mississauga, Ontario. And Emery, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mike. Well, it's good to have you here, Emery. And as we mentioned, it's been kind of a topsy-turvy start to the season, the win over Syracuse, but the four tough defeats since. Just talk a little bit about how the beginning of the season's unfolded. Uh, it's tough to start off as well as we did and then to kind of go into this kind of slump that we're in. But ball just hasn't really been rolling our way. Hopefully things will pick up, though. Getting back to the Syracuse game, you guys came out like gangbusters, a 5-1 to one win at the Orange. You had five points. Talk about how big of a win that was for the program to start the year. It was a real big win. Everything was all talk about the Syracuse game, how big it was, and we were the underdogs going in, so we weren't expected to do much. They had a huge crowd out for their game as well. It was, it was, it was a nice atmosphere to play in under the lights, and we came out and did what we had to do. The team is 1-4, and four, but it's a long season. You haven't played MAC games yet. You guys started off so well last year. It didn't end as well. I was talking to you before. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Just talk about the team trying to keep that mentality. Okay, we've been snake bitten a bit in the beginning, but there's still a long way to go here. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with the injuries that our team is suffering through. So hopefully we're all healthy by the MAC play, and <clears throat> we'll see from there. I think our team had, definitely has the talent to go far in the MAC. And I believe in our team, believe in the coaching staff, and we'll see how it goes from there. Men's soccer sophomore Emery Welshman is our guest here on this week's edition of Siena Saints Weekly. And Emery, you're from Mississauga, Ontario, but you're pretty much a local on this team. You've got a dozen or so guys who are from all different countries all across the world. Just talk a little bit about that team dynamic where you have so many different guys from so many different backgrounds and how that translates uh, both on and off the pitch. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a real interesting combination that we've got going on. A couple English guys, Swedish, Norwegian, and Germans. Um, for the English guys' sake, they speak the same language as us, which is a lot easier for them to trans the transitional point of view. And the German, he al already has Yanis Opalko with him, so mm -hmm. they kind of have that connection. It's just, on the field, it's really interesting to see the way they play. They're a lot more vocal than I feel we are here in North America. And it's interesting off the field as well, the way that their lifestyles are. They feel that it's a lot hotter here in North America. So it's interesting to see how they adapt to here. When we were broadcasting the Colgate game on All Access, I kept saying, it doesn't matter if there's two guys, three guys, four guys, blanket out on Emory. You always seem to find a way to make a play, such a magician with the ball. Just talk a little bit about your ability to go one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one, one -on even one-on-three, and be able to do what you do out there with such precision. There's not much to say. I just <laughs> want to get by the guy and get the best opportunity to score a goal. So whatever comes my way, I, I try my best to get through it. We'll wrap things up now with Emery, a little bit of rapid fire to get to know him a little bit better. How about your, your favorite pro soccer player? My all-time favorite pro soccer player has to be Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry, okay. And the, uh, the funniest member on your team, there's got to be a lot of characters, I'm sure, with all the yeah, different there's, backgrounds. There's a lot of funny kids on the team, but probably the funniest to me is probably David Bonzerato. What makes him so funny? He does really great impressions of people that just make you crack up no matter what. You have any good ones of Coach Elliott with his accent? <laughs> he has a couple good ones of Coach Elliott. Uh, one thing you wish people knew about you but don't? That I guess I'm Canadian right off the bat. Any uh, superstitions you have? Um, not really. Just I don't really like to say if I'm going to score any goals before my game or not because it kind of throws me off a bit. All right, so kids, don't ask Emery to score for you out there before the game. Favorite food? Uh, probably steak, I'd have to say. Yeah. What's your uh, one pump-up song you got to hear right before you got on the field for the last time? Eminem, Till I Collapse. Favorite TV show? Entourage. Okay, we didn't get a Jersey Shore this week, <laughs> but sticking with HBO and MTV there. Uh, favorite movie? Gladiator. And the player you relate to best on the team and why? Um... I'd say Nick Viaggio, because he's off the field, he's real laid back, and I like to think of myself real laid back as well. And on the field, it's, it's real business to him as well. Well, Emery, we uh, appreciate you taking some time out of your day. I know you just ran over here from practice. We thank you for your time, and I wish you continued success this year. Thank you, Mike. That's going to wrap things up for today's show. We thank you for tuning in today on whatever platform you may be watching on. Once again, for Emery Welshman and our entire crew here in Foy Hall, my name is Mike Demos. We'll see you again next Monday for another edition of Siena Saints Weekly.